Good morning, everyone, and hello to today's webinar. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you type in the chat? Oh, that's great. Right. So I can see you know where the chat is. I want you please to change something. Where you type your comments, there is a blue button that says all panelists. I want you to click on that button and choose all panelists and attendees. Can you do this for me? Oh, perfect. I can see you doing it. Thank you very much. So welcome to today's webinar on the Jesse three exam. So if you are a student that wants to give the exam, you're in the right place. We are recording the webinar, so you will be able to watch the recording later if you want. If you are watching the webinar now, if you are not live here with us, you cannot see the chat. But if you are here now live with me, we are going to use the chat every time I ask you a question. So I will ask you a question and you will answer in the chat box. Let's start with the first one. Where are you now? I am in Dublin, in Ireland. Where are you now? I see India, Scarborough, England, I see UK, London, Sheffield. Oh, it's going very fast. Essex, Newcastle, Mumbai, Luton. Oh, wow, amazing. Yorkshire, Dorset. Brighton, very good, very good, very good. Wow. Do you have good weather? Do you have good weather? Yeah. No, somebody said yes. Lovely. It is good here. It is good here. Some say cloudy. That's okay. Listen, guys, listen. If I ask you a question like now, you answer in the chat box, that's good. If you have a question for me, there is another box. It is called Q and A. If you want to ask me a question, you type in the Q and A box, not in the chat. Q and A for me chat for you. Let's get started. Today, we are going to start with an overview of the exam. We're going to look at what Jesse 3 is all about. And then we will also do a little bit of learning. We will focus on daily routines and times home life and place of study, the weather, time and dates, and asking simple questions. And we'll be together for about 45 minutes uh, in total to look at all of this. Let's start with an overview of the exam. I'll show you some sentences and I want you to write in the chat box which are true and which are false. So in the chat box, please type, for example, one, uh, I don't know, 
true or false two true or false three true or false mm, some people say one true i see that okay only what about others somebody said four true one and three two false oh i see everybody's answering great excellent and if you're watching at home if you're rec watching the recording you can think about it mm. okay ready to see the answers here they are so the exam Jesse 3 is a listening and speaking exam. It lasts for seven minutes from the minute you enter the room until you exit seven minutes. And there is only one part in the exam, a conversation. So for seven minutes, you have a conversation with an examiner. Today, we will have a conversation together. But because it is many people in the room, we cannot do it with speaking. I will ask you to type in the chat box. But remember, in the exam, you will speak, you will not write. Let's start. So what is important to know is that this is a conversation. What the, does conversation mean? What does it mean? Having a chat, Catherine wrote, yes. Talking to each other, communicating, talking between uh, or among people, a dialogue, that's very nice, yes. Communicate, exactly. Absolutely, you're all correct. And see here, both ways. Uh, it's you, it's the examiner talking to you and you talking to the examiner. The examiner asks you questions, you answer, but you ask questions to the examiner. This is very important. Like you do with a friend, you ask and answer questions. So we want you to use basic sentences basic phrases and talk about simple everyday topics we will see some of the topics today together we will practice ask and answer simple questions as some of you mentioned in your in the chat earlier so it's not only answering questions but also ask the examiner some questions. And link phrases, link sentences. Use and. For example, I live in Dublin and I like it here. I live in Dublin and it is nice. So link two sentences together with and or then. Let's do some practice together. First, let's start with some information about myself. These numbers, these numbers mean something for me. What could they be? Let's try and guess. What about 
21. What about 21? Mm. Thank you, not my age. Somebody says my birthday. What about my birthday? The date. So can you say, can you give me a sentence with that? Can you give me a, a sentence, not just date? Ah, somebody asks a question. When's your birthday? Ah. The truth is I was born. Can you continue the sentence in the chat box? I was born. Finish the sentence. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. The correct answer here is on the 21st. I was born on the 21st. And can I please ask you to pay attention here on the 21st? Because it is a date. It is a day. I need to say the. I was born on the 21st. Very good. I can see somebody typing this in the chat box. That's correct. What is the question that you need to ask me? What is the question that you need to ask me to answer this? What is the question? Maybe when's your birthday? Yes, when's your birthday? Or when, when, ah, when were you born? That's a good one. When were you born? Perfect. Here, so you can see on the slide, the question, when were you born? I was born on the 21st. Please remember to use the article here. Don't forget. Now I'm going to ask you the same question and, and, you, and I want you to type in the chat box a full answer. When were you born? Okay, I can see some of you have started, yes. You are all using the, I'm very happy. Very good job. I was born on the 30th, on the 5th. Mm. Okay, yes, very good. Okay, and this is about the day, right? The 21st is a day. If I want to add the month, what do I say? I was born on the 21st. What comes after? Very good. Yes. Of. That's very, very important. Of November for me. Yes. Of. That's also quite important to remember. Don't forget that. We have the same month? Great, Hamish. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Let's see. Uh, I was born on the 10th. Uh, don't forget. 
Silvo, Benium, I can see what you are put in the chat box. Don't forget here, the. Don't forget that. What about 12? What could 12 be? What could it be? Tr may guess, guess in the chat box. Twelve months of a year, lucky number. Ah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What month were you born? Maybe. A oh, shoe size, people say. How long have you been in the UK? Oh, a great question there. Very advanced. Ah, okay, right, okay. So listen, this has to do with time. I'll take, because somebody guessed it correctly, I saw in the chat box. This has to do with time. What time? What could it be? What time is your work? Ah, okay. Very good, Lindsay, very good. Yes. So I'll, I'll give you the answer and you'll think of the question, okay? I'll give you the answer, you think of the question. I have lunch every day at 12 p.m. And I will move this so that you can see here. So this is my answer. What is your question? What, at what time do you have lunch? What time do you have lunch? What time do you, okay. What time do you take your lunch? I see here. Yes, very good. I will add the question here. Excellent. You're doing really well. So what time do you have lunch every day? Perhaps we need to fix this like this. Or what time do you normally eat? Ah, very nice as well. What time do you take your lunch? Excellent. What is important here for us to remember is that when I talk about the time, what is the correct preposition? Yes, at. Very good. That's the important part there. Okay, what about now? What about six? I'll tell you, it's not about time. Six is not about time, it's about something else. It's not time of day. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It has to do with month. Yes, yes, that's correct. About month. Which month is the sixth month? June. And why is June important to me? What do you think? Holiday, excellent, excellent. So again, I'll give you my answer and you'll think of the question. I go on holidays on summer. So my answer is I go on holidays in June. What is the question? What's the question? When do you go? Ah, very good. Yes, excellent. 
When do you go on holiday? Very, very good, guys. Yes. And I need to add here a question mark. When do you go on holidays? I go on summer holidays in June. So before the month, what is the important preposition? Ah, uh, I see some confusion, some confusion. Let's have a look at the screen. Before the month, I have in June. In. I used on here before the day. Yeah, I had on before the day. In before the month and at before the time. And what could three mean? What could three mean? What could it be? Somebody says siblings, children. One person has one person found it correctly in the chat box. So it has to do with time. It has to do with time and it's not, it's not, no, it's tea time. It's tea time. So what is the question? What is the question? Can you write the question, please? Uh-huh. Let's start with what time? Yes, I put it here, right? What is the answer? The question is what time do you take tea? What time do you take tea? What is the answer? But please write a full sentence. I want to see a full sentence. It's very important for me. Yes. Exactly, guys. Correct. Yes. What about you now? What time do you take tea? You can say have. What time do you have tea? It's the same. What about you? At 9 a.m. in the morning, at 5, 4 p.m., 7 p.m., I see everybody has a different time. Oh, that is great. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Right, so we saw here what is very important for us to remember is that before the, before the number of the day, before the date, I need the, the 1st of July, the 5th of March, the 3rd of November, the, the 7th of February. So if I'm giving you a full date, I need the and then of. If I'm talking about the time, I need at. And if I'm talking about month, I want in. And of course, for the day, we have on. That's for the day. All right, let's move on. Are we good to go? Should I move on to the next thing? Great. So this is my view yesterday. This is the view from my window. What do you see? What do you see? Mmm, cloudy. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. 
you can see clouds absolutely so the weather was it nice weather or oh, not so nice Yeah, maybe not so nice. It wasn't rainy, but maybe not so nice. So it was cloudy, but not cold. How was the weather in your area yesterday? Can you type in the chat box? So some people say it was sunny. Others say, mm, remember it's about yesterday, guys. Before you continue, please remember, we are not talking about now, yesterday. So I need you to use was, it was, the weather was, very good. It was sunny. What else? It was windy. Mm -hmm. It was rainy. Oops, rainy weather. Ah, uh, somebody said the weather was dull. That's very, that's more advanced, huh? It was nice. Okay. Now, listen. You see how here I linked two sentences together. Yeah, I said it was cloudy, but not cold. I want us to use end. I want us to use end and make these better sentences. So for example, here, it was sunny and, how can I continue? It was sunny and warm. Or I could say, and warm, or I could say humid. Or windy, whatever you like. It's up to you. But it is important to start thinking about Longer sentences. Yesterday, the weather was sunny and warm, sunny and nice. So usually we would say it was rainy and humid. Yesterday. What do you think? Yeah, rainy and humid. Somebody said sunny and very hot. Yes, we can say that, of course. It was windy. What about windy? It was windy. Can I say it was, oh, it was windy and wet. I like that. It was windy and wet. Now, sometimes, especially those of you who live in England, you know this, the weather changes very often. So how can I say yesterday it was windy and wet? How can I change? How can I say windy and wet in the morning? How can I add the change? Maybe in the afternoon it change. Not with but. You can do it with but, but can we say then? Ah, very good. Then. So it was windy and wet. Then. It was sunny. Hmm. Yeah. We can say that. Exactly. I can see all your answers in the chat box now. Very good. It was windy and wet, then it was sunny. Or it was sunny in the morning, then it was cloudy. That's another one. Very nice. I will add it here because I think it's very important. 
it was sunny in the morning. Then it was cloudy. Very important, very important that we started with simple phrases here, it was sunny. But then we added things to make our sentences better, to make our sentences more advanced. It was sunny in the morning, then it was cloudy. Very good. Ah, and somebody says, somebody knows more verbs. I can see you in the chat box. Very good answers, all of you. Yes, Jaili, Jocelyn, very good. Yes, Shraddha, all excellent. So you're doing really well with the weather. Very, very good job, excellent. Let's see some daily routines now. Things that we do daily. So I'll show you here my schedule. This is my timetable. This is from my diary. What you do every day, very good question, yes. But I want us to focus on each time separately here. So I say, for example, at eight o'clock, I have a meeting with my colleagues. Yeah, and here, can you all see the icon, the image that shows the meeting? At eight o'clock, I have a meeting with my colleagues. I want you now to think of the sentence for this one. What is this? What is this now? Mm, it is teaching. Can we make it? Let's start with a question. Let's start with a question. What is a question for this? For nine o'clock, what is a question? So I can start and say, what time do you teach? Is this for every day or one particular day? That's for Monday. So how will I say it? I'll say, what time do you teach? On Monday. That's the important thing. On Monday. Exactly. So what time do you teach on Monday? And my answer is what? I can say at 9 a.m. Or I can say from, huh? from 9 Till, uh, from nine till or from nine to 10.30 a.m. What's another question? I can ask another question here. I can say, what do you do on Monday at 9 a.m.? What is the answer to this question? What time, what do you do on Monday at 9 a.m.? I teach. I teach. That's correct. At 9 o'clock, so I can say, at 9 o'clock, I teach my class. Mm, very good. Yes. Let's have a look at. Oop. Let's have a look at this one. What could this be now? 
what could this be? It's what we do now. What is this? What is this? Mm, it's not a presentation. Mm, no. Oh, yes, I have a webinar, online learning. Ah, yes, I teach online. I teach online. So what do you do on Monday at 10.45? I teach a class online. Now, I will ask you a question. I will ask you a question and I want you to answer in the chat box. What do you do? What do you do at 7.15 on Tuesday? Today. What do you do at 7.15 on Tuesday? Today. I go to the gym. Oh, I cannot go to the gym now. Yeah. For today, huh? today, not in the past, today. I cook dinner. I take a shower. I do my aerobics. I wash up. Oh, that's amazing. I go, I watch TV. I sleep. I cook dinner. I watch. I read. Perfect. Excellent. You are doing really great, guys. Now ask me a question. You ask me a question in the chat box about 8.15 on Monday. 8.15 on Monday. You ask me a question. What you do on Monday at 8.15, what do you usually do at 8.15 on Monday? What do you do at 8 p.m. on Monday? Very good questions. You're doing really great, well done. Let's see what I do. The question is at 8.15, huh? So let's, oops, sorry for that. Uh, oh. At 8.15, what do I do, what do I do? What's the answer? I, yes, here, 8.15. I watch TV at 8.15 on Monday. I watch TV at 8.15 on Monday. Exactly, exactly, yes. Other things I do, I check my email. What are some other things that you do in your day? You watch TV, you help your mom, you check your emails, you read a book. What else do you do? You take a shower, go for a walk, check your email, exercise. Yes. Mm, play, oh, play with my pet. Oh, yes. Watch YouTube. So I have here some other things. I get up. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Six a.m., seven a.m. Remember, what's the preposition? At. So at seven a.m., at twelve, at. Excellent. Yes. What time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at 8 a.m., uh, 10, I have breakfast at 7.15, I have breakfast at 7.30. What time do you brush your teeth? What time do you brush your teeth? 6.35, nine o'clock. Brush my teeth, yes. Or after breakfast, somebody said, uh-huh. Some people after, some people before and after, yes. What time do you take a shower?
aha, uh -huh, nine, I see 9.20, I take a shower at 5 a.m. That's very early, well done, yes. I take a shower at six. And wake up, you showed that earlier to me. Huh? The different, what is the difference between get up and wake up? What is the difference between get up and wake up? Wake up is when you open your eyes, yes. And get up is getting, okay. So what time do you wake up and what time do you get up? Put it, put it in one sentence. I wake up at and I get up at. I wake up at 6 a.m. and I get up at 7 a.m. Oh, sorry, I wake up at 6.30 and I get up at 7.30. I wake up at 7 and I get up at 7.10. Oh, that's me. I don't need time. I wake up and get up the same thing. Wake up at 6, get up 6.10. Great, great, great responses. Thank you so much. Right, guys, so... I have three tips here for you before we finish today. Three things I want you to do to prepare for the exam. The first thing is visit the website. There are many resources online that are free to help you prepare for the exam. You see, there is a section that helps you to prepare for your exam. It is important that you try this website, you check it, because it has very important information for you. Number two, use all the resources that are there. There is study help available for you. It is free. There are speaking activities for you. There are free. You can Click on them, you can see and you can try them out. You can watch videos of the exam. And then you can schedule your exam. And number three and the most important, practice speaking all the time. The best way to practice speaking when you don't have a teacher, when you don't have a lesson, is to record your voice on your mobile phone, listen to your voice, listen to what she said, notice, pay attention to the language you used, correct, Think what is correct, what is not correct, what you can change. And record again. The same thing, say it again. And this time listen and make sure you say it correctly. Today, we had a very quick look at some of the topics that the examiner will discuss with you in the conversation your daily life routine your schedule the weather we did a little bit of practice i want you to continue practicing today record your voice practice more and come back tomorrow the same time we will do some more practice. So I'll, I'll see you all tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Thank you very much for today. You did a great job. You're really good. I'm very happy. Thank you.